Hello, this is Dan Harkins, and today I am playing on Havana with basically the shotgun. Um, shotguns are kind of, you know, they're better than World at War, uh, a little less than Modern Warfare 2, uh, but they are primaries now, which is, uh, I guess it's a godsend for those of us who just want to use shotgun, but were forced to run with something else as a primary right there. Um, I think it's the Olympia shotgun. I'm not sure. I forgot the name on that. Uh, pretty awesome shotgun. There's two shots, and it's like a hunting rifle. So basically, you always feel like you're playing Cabela's. And I really like that game. Right here, I do the bad thing of just turning right and not. And see, UAV scans by. I, my own UAV told me that someone was there. And I didn't listen. I should have just waited. I probably could have took that guy for surprise. That guy. I didn't take him by surprise, but I shot him in the face, so he's dead. I like this match because it reminds me of that one, uh, that one map from Call of Duty, and I, f I forgot the name of it. Someone wants the road, and it's that big road in the middle that no one really goes in, and that's kind of how uh, Havana plays out. Essentially, you don't want to run too much in the middle because you just, you know, open target it killed. So most of this plays uh, re reliantly on like uh, just going through the sides and sneaking around. So it's a perfect map. For pretty much shotgunning, I believe. Thing is, uh, if you uh, spawn as like the Black Ops, I believe in the Black Ops right there, uh, it's a really horrible spawn. I'm gonna say off the bat, uh, you're really forced into that like little choke area over there. And I don't think I venture up there too much, um, but essentially you don't want to do that. Um, this guy. See, the range of the shotgun doesn't really make too much sense, and that's kind of one of my big complaints. It's it's very, it's, it's variable, you know. Sometimes you're hit someone pretty much medium to long range, you know, kill them in one shot. Other times, you're going to take two to three shots right there, and that's uh, frustrating. So there's no real stable. It's either, it's really like you're gambling with the shotgun. Uh, but you know what? I still like the shotgun. You know, I think between this and the A, uh, not the A12, the Spus, uh, probably the best shotguns. I think it was the HS-10? I'm not sure on that. Uh, you can dual wield them. And there's also the stakeout, uh, which doesn't work. And I just get completely murdered. Look at me slide there, just looking dead. Damn, Fidel's not gonna like this. Throwing grenades. Um, not so much on actually paying attention while I throw grenades. I'm just trying to keep the just grenades up just in case people are walking by. I don't, you know. See, we see right there, pretty long range, but it didn't kill him. Other times you'll shoot from there and then it'll kill them, so I don't really get it. I'm also running Claymores with this class. I really enjoy the Claymores uh, with shotguns. Pretty much any class, I just think the Claymore is really great. And like a ninja, check this shit through the smoke and right out. He doesn't even know I left, and I have to put it in super slow motion and stop because I forgot to change my theater controls. Um, I'm... Yeah, stopped again right there. Not exactly what I wanted to do. But uh, as we can see, I totally ninja myself out of that room. I switched back to my shotgun. And this guy's like, Where, where'd you go? Where's Dan Hawkins? I'm like, hey, motherfucker, I'm right here. He's like, oh my god, I better turn around. Is he still in there? No, I'm not. I'm not in there, but you are dead. Because you just got smoked. All right. Okay, this guy, I don't really understand how he got killed by that. But uh, just going back on uh, about the map itself. Some people don't like the map, but like I said, I think it plays uh, very well towards the shotgun. And as you can see, I'm kind of sticking to this main building and the roads around here. I don't want to venture uh, to the enemy spawn just yet. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of chill back here. Just kind of patrol it right now. And that's what I'm doing with the shotgun. Because you know people are going to come up. Now, this is like the main building, I would say. Uh, of what you want to hold in this game. There's just enough to where you, you got your uh, teammates spawning behind you and you can uh, get to the enemy spawn um, pretty pretty fast. Uh, if you spawn, if you're the spawn on the other side, you really got to take hold of this because uh, enemies will push you back in that corner over there and it's a really shitty place to be. Uh, as for the Olympia, like I said, I think there's some, enemies, some uh, changes with the shotgun. But I think it's a great shotgun class, uh, either, overall. Yeah, that, alright, I'm gonna be honest, that wasn't on him, so I don't know how he died. But he is dead. Doesn't really make sense. Let's take a look around here. 
Like, you see right there? That was medium range, and it didn't kill him. But sometimes you'd be farther away, and it would kill them. Doesn't make sense. And uh, you see my team's losing. We're, we're kind of neck to neck here on here. And I'm talking to my teammates, trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Because it really feels like I'm busting my balls throughout this match. Just trying to keep us alive. Because uh, I really want to win this match. Uh, it's, again, so it's in public. But, you know, I still... Now, this is the greatest trick ever known. Trip a Claymore instead of Claymore. If you've uh, ever planted Claymore and you, you hear it go off, you usually go out to check and see what's up. Um, and that is a bad habit because it's a great way to trick players to come out and uh, basically get killed by your Claymore. So it's really just recal uh, for, I guess you could say, stupid stupid people or, st or just new players in general who are going to be like, oh, I want to win outside. And then I'll go look outside and there'll be a goddamn Claymore. And this guy, look at that. He's fucking fast in his face. Um, but, like I said, there's a lot of, there's great level for, you know, claymores and shit, because there's so many corners. Uh, I will say the claymore is a little bit overpowered, um, mainly because there's no real, once you hit a click, you're already dead. There's no real escape. It's not like click, and then you get some time to move, jump, or do what, you know, what have you, but essentially, usually dead. So claymores are pretty much just like bouncing betties. They go off, people die, which is uh, pretty sweet. That guy totally fucked my face. Not much I could do about that. So right here, I'm thinking I don't know how much longer I could stay over on this side. Because, I mean, I am getting the occasional one or two enemies coming in. But not enough to secure a victory and enough kills to, you know, take the lead. So I follow this guy. Totally, I don't know. I totally revealed my position. But again, shot somebody not in their face. Not even on their body, but they still died. So that needs to be tweaked a little bit. Uh, better hit detection, so... Uh, in general, when that happens, I don't kill somebody and they kill me. Sounds kind of weird, but uh, I do believe in playing fair and I don't think it's right that I actually get the kills, but whatever. People don't really care either way if they're on the other side as long as they get kills, right? So now I'm going to focus mainly on going around this side here. And this building is another, another main part. A lot of people, you know, the enemy is going to be flanking through this building, so... Always a good thing, and I don't check, but um, usually don't go up into that building. Uh, did you, someone puts a claymore like I'm going to do, and you're going to trip it. Everyone's always in the bedroom in the corner, and again, uh, just luck right there, guys. The panic knifing. I knifed that guy on the stairs, and he's dead. Wasn't really fair, but yeah, this, is, this is the game. We go back up here, and... Uh, as we can see, this is pretty much got that guy. Still got my claymore set up, and uh, this map is uh, going to be ending right here pretty soon. Just take a look here. Yeah, he's uh, this is gonna die. So we see that shot missed. So I have one shot to to finish this up. Here it is. Here it comes. The final blow. This guy, I don't know, he's pulling out a gun, grenade, something. He was trying something, but it didn't quite work out in his favor. I thank you for watching. I'm Dan Harkins. And uh, take care. Until we meet again. Bye-bye.